All right, welcome back to your balance diet or tell it to me. Today now actually International Migrants Day and that now why we get an expert in the house because that's part of the fact. See, federal government, they come outside, they talk the risk of you commuting from your country, enter another man's country without documents, without papers, nothing at all. A lot of Nigerians, they see the size, say they want to actually embark on that journey because according to them, Niger too hard. So make I just go abroad because abroad money you feel can for road according to them. Now waiting that they think. And that's why we get an expert for Yeshina from the um, Migrant Project Nigeria. Yes. Join me welcome Anita Ibron came to the house. Good to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to be here. Now, according by statistics, they talk to about 60% of the 10,000 illegal migration cases where they record mostly um, in the first part of this year. Nigerians. Uh, so why we say despite our federal government mm. the common side talks saying Nigerians stop traveling abroad mm. and not get documents, we still have a large number of them doing that. The problem is say plenty of people no one here. Everything where they don't talk, they look at we go here put there you say, hey, Nigeria had government no try, policy no help, everything no good. But okay. but all the matter be say people just look up and they no one manage to see opportunities and how they feel drunk. So it, unfortunately, the matter be say statistics show them and are true. Every day, even as this December don't reach down, this Christmas, we people tell you say, mm -hmm. people tell you say, ah, I won't come out. Exactly, people go tell you say they won't come out. But now, I know say you they work with the Migrant Project in um, yes. Nigeria. I know say you don't see different cases. Tell us one of the most um, painful cases where you don't actually hear of person deciding to come up from Nigeria mm -hmm. Go through the deserts, go through the Mediterranean Sea, just to go Europe. Hmm. You get the case of one man. That case, they very sad. This man decides to go come out with his wife and Peking. And that time when they come out, the wife get belly again. So they don't reach halfway. They don't try to reach, but they never even reach Mediterranean yet. Too. Now the man can't talk, say, as the man, and then they go, they reach all these rebels, people who just carry gun everything. Now they tell him they stop. They rape the wife in front of her. After they rape the wife in front of her, then tell them, say, make all the other soldiers, all the people there, make them rape that woman too. They rape that woman. That man, as we talk today now, that man, the wife died for the road. The Peking gets crossed for, for border. He enter boats. The man then send her back to Nigeria. He come back here now. Wife don't die. The Peking, when she they can't die, he won't wait, leave, go. He don't know where he did. He no fit tell the family of the wife, say, his wife don't die. He himself no even fit show face. All on top of say Nigeria had, I won't go find another place where I go make money. I beg a water. I'm telling you, you know actually what time because me and I personally they're very passionate about this because um, even if you say the statistics of returnees, you go find out say those states now actually get a large number of people. And I get very passionate about my state and why people they decide say they won't come out for uh, those states, go Italy or go any European um, country. Now I know say I treat this topic, I always treat them throughout the December for radio. And a number of people, a large number of people where actually call me, where be men, they talk say the men, they know that you face a lot of challenges when mm. they want actually, uh, when they, they pass through the desert and even through water. Mm. So now the women, they actually go through rape and a lot of abuses. From the cases where you don't see, is that true? That one a big lie. You know, say we talked about before, that one a big fa -fa -fa lie. Number one, they, see, they don't see men where they beat. We say they beat them. In body, no resemble in body again. I don't even the beaten. What about the psychological trauma where then they face? Then see people where they start joining together, where then they go. Then go, no, say, no, say for that desert, water no day. If you carry water, then they drink their peace. How person, some of them don't come back, like the disease where they carry come back to Nigeria. They no fit open mouth, talk them. Then apart from that, the one way worse part to say, she be the person who come back, now if you talk, say, I come back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. The men need to tell us how many of them don't die for inside, inside the desert. And how many of them, they don't sell their organ. Organ sales is one of the major reasons why they, they push, so they won't carry people go. Not be say people when they turn and say, won't carry you go, like them, Richard, that too. They either won't use them, maybe they sell their organ, maybe they sell them into slavery, maybe they sell them even into sex slave. Then they talk to the only women, they get raped. I beg, no be so. No be, the only woman, they sleep with woman, man. Then they use men too. But they don't go talk the truth. They don't want to talk them. Because it be like, say, if they hide them, then shame, they go catch them. You know, so when they come back, stigmatization day. They know fit come back, talk and well. So if they say we never suffer too much, so you go put eye for only women's side. But that matter no be so. The story is where the man, what about the man? We will say he don't lose wife and family. What about the one we say they don't cut in leg? Or the one we say one part of the body don't injure? Mm. 
people when they hear you now, some people when they hear you now go talk say, ah, mother, you don't understand. Nigeria really hard. It is very hard. You believe that, or you feel, say to an extent, some Nigerians just they lazy. My sister, Nigeria hard. Nobody say Nigeria no hard. But the truth we say, you know hard reach the level where people don't take and go. Like we talk, um, some Nigerians they lazy. I know we say laziness say we no get. Mm -hmm. No be say laziness say where we no get hard to work. Oh. We they hard work if now hustle. Our hustle job they tight. Okay. But when that laziness we talk about now, now the one we be say we fit use our brain. No be funny man brain. Mental laziness. Like mental laziness. You see, people talk and say Nigeria had Nigeria. Do you know, say statistics show Nigeria no be the first, no be us get the most number of irregular migrants. We are like number three to number five. So other countries had pass our own. So how our own had which we will say we will come kill ourselves. The problem is say what's down they happen now with the paying government, the paying agencies be say the number of people, young people, we supposed to stay back, develop the country, create change. Should be governments now people. We those who were supposed to use their brain think say how we won't make Nigeria better, but then they die like goats for inside the sea. How people go give birth to Pekin and you go watch your Pekin and you go live and say, ah, go find greener pasture for another man country. How we won't get there, you know, no. Then just tell you, say, ah, go, we go get you visa, we go get it, and all na lie. So as much as say it had, no be such way no day. People they hear where they make them. Different options day. The first thing I the type will say, on top that we remove all that government had, if we remove all our excuses, and we sit and say, this is not where I go make them first. No, be saying we no travel, no. But the issue be say, if you go, go self, you go not say you get something way useful, where you won't go do that. You don't get qualification, you can't get skills. You don't get what you go do. So that way, you know, nobody feels say they lazy. But my sister, my mental laziness, they worry some of us. Hmm. All right, now, see, these human traffickers, the cartel, they get different lies where they tell people. Now they get different category of people where they decide say they want to come up for their country, enter different countries. One, those we don't even know, mm -hmm. where they just call me, they say, come, I get um, plenty of things for you. And those we actually know, mm -hmm. with your experience, tell us the different lies where these human traffickers, they tell people. The first lie they tell them, they say, if the one way they come and pass, ah, my sister, see, eh, you, they, you get opportunity. I go carry you, go eat me, you go go start and make it. When you make it like this, they go, they pay you money every day, sharp, sharp, just go. Then they tell us, they go carry them, go make it. They go carry them, make them, go, they do make up. You know the things where we say, we they do, we they learn with our hand here, yeah, and mm -hmm. we tell you, how much do they make? You go make one here, 3,000, 2,000, one five. If you go there, now dollars, now euro, then go, they used to pay you. So the people go there, and they get hope. Then they also tell them, say, then fit go to school. Now the ones who even go and read, now then they use that one for say, ah, you feel go to scholarship, you feel get one correct job. Then they use another one again, and the type of say job day. Then tell them proper job, no be say, ah, come and be clean and wash. So you go think, say, job opportunity don't day for you. Now those things, and people they look for, people where don't they find better life, where don't they desperate, we think say no hope for them for Nigeria. Then go jump on top of these things. Go on a lie. Person where they offer you any opportunity abroad. Where you know see how it really truly be. You know, show up the evidence, nothing where they. In fact, the one way it was passed, now people with them think, say, then go travel by air. They don't put money. Sometimes, this money where they talk about, no be small money. But they don't, sometimes, 600,000, 1 million, 1.5 million. Then go gather all the money when they get. Friends go join, family go join. Go here, people say, ah, I won't travel, just borrow me this money. I go give you back. And you, they think, say, ah, the person don't get, you don't show everything, don't, everything don't say. My people don't correct everything, you go think, say, now nah, correct matter. They don't go embassy, they don't give them visa. Now, what's in voting? And some don't wait paying for pass. Then they really see proper scholarship letter. Then they get admission. So the school abroad will give them. No, admission. Not, be, uh, not be real abroad. School, okay, no. person go go Now, the school where they, where they don't formulate for them. So they tell and say, you they verify. You know, wait till they, wait till they worry us again. Person tell you this. You verify them. You check them. You know, say we get this culture of secrecy for, for Nigeria. But where you go verify them? Because as you they talk, I just imagine then, even till now, when sometimes you go pick up the dailies and you go see some kind small corner for the newspaper where you go talk, say, study and work abroad. <laughs> Call this number. Mm. You understand? And it, mm. in some cases, too, because of I don't interact mm. with a lot of people, mm. some of them where they fall into the hands of this human traffic and are from those little adverts yes. like that. So where you feel go verify them, if person can't give you your own uh, letter talk, say, oh, you have been admitted into this school for inside in Europe, or yes. they can't give you, say, you don't get this job for Europe, how can you verify it? 
Well, for that one, the first thing we be say, the first thing person go do be say, we, we get to levels who they use. We get our hotlines, our counselors, we say you go call them, then go advise you, say, look this way, do this way. Don't be say they, they themselves go very well, but they go show you the way where you go past. Another thing I tell say, the one way you say free do. So don't be say you go talk, say, ah, then say, make a call counselor, what if not lie? You yourself, if you check that school online, Go online first. You go get all the universities. If I tell you go Google, you go see universities which they are accred accredited. Because some people fit form one university. So they feel register and put them, then call name, do everything. Then all those things, they don't master them well. You go check whether that school they are accredited. You go verify which students they go to that school. You go verify the people, even the number where they give you that contact. You go find people, make you do all your checks, every single check. In fact, if you even go your own school, your university where you finish up, but problem is say, people say no go to school. And they won't go get admission for one place. They tell them, say, no need. You don't even need job. Why? You don't need any results. We don't arrange them. Now, because we want easy life. Mm. So they need, the, the best place, the first level, is to go online and to start checking again. By the time you keep searching and digging, and you can talk to a lot of, there are a lot of agencies already, the way they Nigeria will say, around these migration issues, where they talk around things. If I'm one of them, where they, where they say, as we talked all this last week, they come up every time. Now, these migration resource centers, so around all this, because information, we notice see another problem where they with this, we say, information we correct, no day plenty. So that I think where all these migration bodies now, they try to do, how we go gather correct information, put them out there, how people go know, how we go help them, because the traffickers and smugglers don't enter markets plenty, don't deceive plenty people. I tell you, and I go, I actually advise people where they actually watch us now. If person come meet you, say, I want to carry your picking, go abroad, because I'll put her for school, because go, they send you money, you have to be careful, because in some cases, now human traffickers, now, in the, now they are work with that. All right, now, you talk about hotline. Tell us more, a little bit about um, the Nigeria Migrant, migrant um, Project. The migrant, the migrant Project Nigeria yeah. was set up primarily to create awareness about the risk and the Ogbonge realities where the Islamic people travel from Nigeria, go Europe, and they won't take Libya or Europe. Would they tell them the realities of the journey? Waiting day for that journey. Would they also tell them, say, even when you can't reach that country, because true, true, some people they land. Then they land Italy, then they land Spain. They tell them, say, how life day there, real, real. You don't get any people, you don't get culture. Now back, don't look only back door, now back under water you take enter. Okay. Waiting you go meet. How your life will be there? You no, know, we say people. I one day we tell them say then Sabi say detention camps. And then they say so then they give them allowance for detention camp. You know, so with that that the main essence of the project. And the project get three arms. We get the people where they talk on radio, they put information, television, newspaper, online. We get those people where we say then they enter the communities. Then they talk community one on one. Sometimes they gather two hundred people. Sometimes three hundred people. Sometimes fifty people. Just to talk and say, see this matter what you want to do. You know, easy. They work for them. You know, easy. Sometimes they go work out like this, like go down dead. See, just to create awareness about this thing. And the other people are those that answer the phone lines. Mm -hmm. Because when you go out for television, for streets, people they ask again, say, hey, now nah, lie, I be not true. I see one man, no, we tell me, say, make I do like this. Actually, women are vulnerable. But indeed, okay. statistics still show, as at this day of international migrant, say, 58% now men, 52, 42% now women. So on top, say all oh, day they talk. Now the men so they go past. So for this one, the men carry. But women they carry. They actually did it. Women did it. Forty-two percent of women did it. And plenty small children did it. Now people mm. they send children, they go. Very true. Now so not now our work basically to make people say this thing. No be how you think say be. Oh. They know they pick money for flow for Europe. Oh. And even those countries self, they get their own problem. We they never finish. Then they try to resolve. You fit enter, you know, be like before in the 80s. Very, very true. And there are legal ways for you to actually go abroad. If you want to actually go abroad, you want it there for your body, so you want to go. Yes. But you need to go through the right process, get your documents. And you can go through the Migrant Project Nigeria. Now, now get online presence. Yes, Tell us your online. website our, and your Twitter. Yes. Our yeah. website, our Facebook page is the Migrant Project Lagos and the Migrant Project Edo. Now, so it is for Facebook. For our website now, www.themigrantproject.org. All right. What about Instagram? Instagram, we never, we know, now only never open post, yet. we never opened that one yet. All right, so please, I bet, follow them, you go see their numbers for them. Call them, if you know, say you want to travel, go abroad, call them. If you know, say, person don't give you some kind of hope, say, go carry yes. you, go abroad, you want to find out whether that's not true, or they want to go use it to do something else for yes. them, call them. Tell them the website again, www.themigrantproject.org. Well, Facebook, we did it, we won't get it like that. People just they said, Facebook, the Migrant Project Lagos. You go find us for Facebook, 
all the information where you want to, number where you go call, people where you go talk to them, go answer your questions. Exactly. Thank you so thank much, you. Um, Eniton Ibironke thank from the you. Migrant Project Nigeria. Thank you. Very, very nice much. conversation. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.